Hello, Dr. Brian Abelson here from Kinetic Health. Today, we're going to go over the deep head hanging maneuver. This is for treating BPPV, one of the most common types of vertigo where you actually get a crystal stuck in one of the semicircular canals. Now, in previous videos, we've gone over the Epley and the Lembert maneuver and also the Dix Hall Pike procedure for actually diagnosing this type of vertigo. Now, this particular one, there's a particular type of eye motion a particular type of nystigmus, where the eyes are moving up and down like this. So this gives us an indication we've got a crystal stuck in the superior or anterior canal. So we're gonna go over this procedure, it's very simple, but I would probably suggest getting a practitioner to do with you, with you first, so that you actually see the position. It's really important that we get the right amount of momentum, and we're very exacting with the procedures to get that crystal out of the semicircular canal. We have to hold particular positions for 30 to 60 seconds so the actual crystal actually moves down in a particular part of the canal. We change positions and then it'll come to another area to get it out of there. Okay, Ritzy, I'm going to get you to actually bring your legs up on the table here. Good. Yeah. And then I'm going to get you to actually lean back here. Okay, right back. Just here. Right back. Now, it's not slow. Down. So we're going to come back up again. We're going to do this one more time. And I'll tell you what, we have to have a little bit more momentum to bring the head back here. So I'm gonna support your head here a little bit. Take it right back. Perfect, right back, 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 back. And down. Okay, excellent. Are you okay there? Yes, I am. Good, good. Okay, so in this position here, I'm observing whether or not her eyes are moving up and down just slightly in the stigmas. If they were, this could give an indication that we have a crystal stuck in the anterior superior part of the canal. Your the vestibular system has a labyrinth or a set of three semicircular canals. And if we get a crystal stuck in that anterior superior part, we'll get this motion of the eyes moving up and down. It's very hard for a person to actually fake this. So I'm gonna actually put a link that'll show you some actual examples in the top or right hand corner. So after 30 to 60 seconds, you okay there? Yes, I am. I'm gonna move the head into a flex position. I'm gonna support her head here. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Now I'd be watching to see whether or not we get a diminishing of that eye motion. And the whole time we're going through this, we're actually looking to see whether or not we're getting a reproduction of symptoms, dizziness. One thing I should also mention here, as we're going through this, please explain to the person that it's not uncommon to get a reproduction of all the dizziness, the spinning of the room or the spinning of what feels like the inside of your head. There we go. You okay there? Yes. So you probably want to have a small bucket or something nearby. Not very often it happens that a person throws up, but it can happen. Good. And then after 30 to 60 seconds, we'll bring you to an upright position. Good. Now, it's really important to note that if the crystal is stuck in that anterior superior canal, we may get a diminishing of the vertigo almost immediately. And it may not return if for some reason we do not get any changes and it doesn't actually uh, alter this, the person's still feeling uh, this vertigo type feeling or dizziness. There may be a crystal stuck in either the horizontal canal or we get one actually stuck in the posterior one. So check out our other videos on the Epley, Epley and the Lambert procedures and uh, this should work really well for this. Please check out our channel, take a look at our different videos, wide variety of exercises. Please subscribe to our channel and uh, we look forward to putting out more videos for you.